I'm so excited to share with you exactly how to make one of these paper garlands. All of these supplies are from Discount Party Warehouse. The best thing about them is that they're obviously reusable, so they're so sustainable um, and in my opinion look even better than balloons. So well, let me show you how I put this together. You are going to need some clear 3M hooks, some paper clips, some twine, and of course your beautiful honeycomb balls and hanging fans. So what I'm doing now is just assessing the space and seeing where I want to hang my garland. And I decided that I wanted to create an L shape across the top of the roof and down the pole. You will be attaching all of your honeycomb balls and fans to the twine. So what I'm doing is creating a nice comfortable space for myself, tying the twine between two chairs and this is what you're left with. The next step is to then assemble the honeycomb balls. Now they come with a little sticky part on the inside but I don't actually use that. I use paper clips instead. I just find that this way they don't fall apart when they're hanging and it also means that you can reuse them again and they remain intact and with a nice shape. So you can see here I'm just popping the paper clip in and I use around three per honeycomb ball. So you're ready to get hanging, which is the fun part. And I feel like this is where people get unstuck because it just doesn't sit the way that you want it to. But don't worry, keep tying them on because once you have the garland up, you're then able to manipulate the balls to kind of sit where you want them to. So you can see here, I'm just going ahead and tying them on. One thing that I will mention, the honeycomb balls and fans have a lot more stability than what the lanterns do. The lanterns are the one that you can see in this shot. I've actually got one right now uh, that have the pleats in them. I probably wouldn't suggest using these for a garland. It was my first time. I would recommend using them as like a hanging ceiling feature, which is what I'm going to try to do with them next time. Um, I think that would look absolutely beautiful, but just for yeah the strength of the garland, it's much easier to use the honeycomb balls. And you can see here, it's all kind of coming together and looking really, really beautiful already. The one thing that makes these garlands unique is using different shapes and sizes. So you can see here I'm just laying the fans on and seeing what they look like um, and then going ahead and tying them on. So different sized balls, different sized fans, they all make a really, really big difference to what it looks like. And the great thing is, you know, you can buy a couple of neutral colours and then add in pops of colour and really change up the theme uh, depending on what your event is. So once I'm happy with the garland that is running across the top of the ceiling, I go ahead and start working on the garland that runs down the side of the pole. So again, repeating the exact same process. You will then be left with something that looks like this. We are ready to go ahead and hang. Now, of course, it rained. Okay, so I actually had to hang this the morning of the event. Normally, I would do it the night prior. Now, the 3M hooks... I've got them stuck up and ready to go. They're clear, you can't see them at all, which is wonderful. They work best, as I found out on the day, on wall paint versus using it on a shiny material like Color Bond, which is what I'm hanging it on right now. So if you're hanging off a roof, off Color Bond, off a tree, you are best off tying on your garland, which is what you can see I'm doing here. Now don't worry if it looks misshapen and a little bit funny because again, you'll be able to go in and fix all of that up once you've got the garland hung. And this is what it looks like when it's hung. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? So bright and colorful. And this is the fun part. You can see I'm kind of filling it in, moving the balls around so that I make sure that the twine is covered and ensure that the seams are facing the other way, um, filling any blank spots as I am. And before you know it, you are left with this beautiful garland and you can pour yourself a drink and get ready to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Pop together a nice grazing table so that there's nothing to do once the event starts and enjoy what you have created. Thank you so much for watching.